Okay, first step in our parallel analysis is we're going to look at the eigenvalues that were created by your SPSS when you do your principal component analysis or your factor analysis. And here they are. So according to this, we should probably keep four of the new factors, and this last one is a definite maybe. doesn't add a lot to the explained variance, but the, the model with the four new factors only explains about 50%, which is not a great model. In other words, this is kind of a weak model, but let us continue. So now we're going to do a parallel analysis to confirm the number of factors that we should keep in this study. So we're going to take you to the website. We found a cool calculator that will do this for you. So hold on. Okay, back to the website. Okay, and we put this link to the webpage right on our webpage. So we're going to give it a run. So number of variables in your database. In other words, how many questions in the one that we're doing now? There were 23 items, 23 questions. Our sample size was huge. It was about 2571. And the rest of this we're just going to leave alone because they're all defaults. Right? The type of analysis, the number of random correlation matrices, 100 is a lot. And I can, we're just going to leave that alone. And we're going to go ahead and click Submit. And wait one second. And here is the output from this calculator. So let's interpret this real quick. Okay, so the first column here, the root... This, this would be comparable to the SPSS output of component. So in other words, here's component 1, component 2, component 3, etc., etc. These are the new factors that have been generated. The next column means is the same as like the eigenvalues using a different process, using the parallel analysis process. But again, here this would be like the eigenvalue for the first new component eigenvalue for the second component, eigenvalue for the third component, etc., etc. So now we're going to make our comparisons and decide how many components that we should retain for this. So hold on one second. Okay, so what we did was we pulled up the SPSS sheet alongside this guy, and this is how this works. Your SPSS eigenvalue has to be greater than the parallel analysis eigenvalue in order to be kept. So you, you pretend that the means column is like your critical eigenvalue. And this is your calculated eigenvalue. So your calculated, your calculated eigenvalue has to be greater than your critical eigenvalue. So you would keep factor 1, right? Because 7.2 is bigger than 1.17. You would keep factor 2 because 1.14 is less than 1.7. You would keep factor 3 because 1.31 is bigger than 1.126. You would keep factor 4, I'm getting misaligned here, but 1.1 is less than 1.27. Uh-oh, here's the problem. Factor 5 here, it's only, where'd it go? 0.988, where factor 5 over here is 0 0.109. So that tells you that you should extract and keep only four eigenvalues, I'm sorry, four factors, four components for this study. I hope that helps. MGZ, out.